to take a look at a Hurricane 34A. Hurricane is a brand that has been around for a long time, well known, great way to get into the industry if you're looking to get started. Let's take a look inside at this 34A and some of the great features that you get in the Hurricane. Up front we have nice large seats, of course it's built on the Ford powertrain with controls right at your fingertips. Nice large media center, full screen here. Now for additional passengers, we have a drop down bed. And as we spin around, nice large dinette. Now what I like about this 34A is as I step back, you can see the openness of the floor plan. And there's a lot of nice residential cues that they've taken. We have a nice countertop here, solid surface style with undermounted LED lights. It's a very light coloring in this coach. You'll notice a lot of storage compartments. We have a three burner range and oven with glass door. Now this is done as this is just a traditional microwave in this unit. I do like the glass inserts, really gives it a high end look. Nice big storage. They have put in adjustable shelves, which is really key. So you have the flexibility to move your gear. It's a double stainless steel sink with a residential style pull down faucet so that you're not spilling water around everywhere. Now a great feature in this Hurricane, and it's nice to see that this has migrated from large diesel coaches down to gas coaches is the multiplex wiring. So you have your master on and off. You can turn all your lights on or off with the push of a button. You can see your tank levels right here. Turn on your water pump, your electric water heater, your gas water heater. You can see the voltages of your batteries. Start your generator from here. We can also go over this coach has automatic generator start. We can then set the triggers. Is it low volts? Is it a temperature? Is, do we want to set our quiet time? We can set our lighting here just by a push of a button. Now, most of these multiplex systems also then can be used with an app that is on your phone so that you can operate these different functions via your phone. We have a 12 volt fridge, gone are the days of the propane electric. Uh, normally it's 12 volt or residential fridges large screen TV, fireplace that'll throw heat, and that's just so you can take a bit of chill out of the air on a cool fall morning like it happens to be today. Also, we have a recliner. You'll notice these little handles here are actually for pulling out our footrests so that we pop the footrests out and have a little more of an incline situation to be nice and comfortable. Plus, look how wide that sofa is is so you can sit three adults really comfortably. As we look around, they've taken advantage to put storage in multiple locations and they're using large bright windows with multiple windows that open. You'll notice both of these windows have two sets of the windows that open for natural light. As we walk forward, you'll notice our first bank of wardrobe closet here, as well as drawers, because if you're traveling in a family and using that drop down bed, you'll need that additional storage. And it is forward of the privacy door here for the bedroom, so that if you're traveling with another set of guests, I'll pan around, that are sleeping in that drop down bed, they can get up in the morning, gain access to their clothes, all while that privacy door is actually closed. As we move into the washroom, you'll notice the floor space is nice and large. So you hop out of the shower, there's lots of room to get dried off and changed. Nice big shower with the full surround. And it's that textured surround I've talked about in multiple videos that just gives it a really nice finish and feel. 
big skylight above for natural light. And then we've got this nice glass shower door here that'll make it easy for cleanup. Good space with the sink stainless steel sink and one thing to watch for when you're buying a unit is where does the, where does the sink sit because when you bend over to wash your face in the morning you're not hitting your medicine cabinet and there's our medicine cabinet and we have good clearance from that hello everyone window here for natural light as well as some air our foot flush toilet heater vent back here to keep this warm in the cool months. Now I haven't looked in these compartments. Some additional storage here, just deep enough to be able to put some linens rolled up or folded, as well as items like toilet paper, um, your toilet pouches, and there's our multiplex switches. So gone are the days of the more traditional switch. We have a lot more multiplex switches. Now let's take a look at the bedroom. As we make our way back, and I'm going to walk partially through so I can turn around, first thing that you will pass is a storage closet here that right now is storage. We have hanging up above, but you'll notice the plugs and the removable facing here. This can actually be used to put either a combination washer dryer or a stacking washer dryer. So if you're planning to be out on the road a lot longer, you can do your own laundry. Now the number of storage drawers is incredible. We've actually got 10 drawers here on the bottom plus a nice countertop. And it sounds silly, but that countertop is very, very useful. As a motorhome user in the past, I always liked a countertop away from the bed where I could put keys, my wallet, um, just little items that I didn't want on the armrest. So this is a key to be able to put jewelry, your watch, those items you don't want to reach for in the middle of the night and knock off a nightstand. Our flat screen TV across from the bed and then big wardrobes again. We have two double wardrobes for lots of storage here if you plan to spend more time on the road. As we pan around, large king size bed, and that is on a slide out with windows that do open for cross ventilation. So if you don't want to be running your generator overnight, you can get that cross ventilation and a nice large window to let light in at the back. There, there is a 12 volt plug here on the side and USBs on both sides of that bed. So this is a really nice layout in the 34A for the Hurricane. We're going to be doing more videos of different units and we'll bring them to you. Let's take a quick look outside at some of the features of this Hurricane as well. Oops, before I go outside, I guess we'll look at one other item. There is a little a workstation here and that just pops up and over for the passenger. So if you want to throw your iPad or a laptop to work from, you have the ability to do that. As we take a walk outside, we'll just point out a couple of items. We have a nice armless awning on the coach, our outside entertainment, and we'll show you one of the storage compartments here. So we have a nice large bin that is passed through all the way to the other side, and another bin over on that side itself. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the 2023 Thor Hurricane 34A. If you like the video, please click the like button. Please hit the subscribe and you'll be notified of new videos as they come available. Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you. Make sure you live life to the fullest.